Hey, what's up, Light Bright Nation? So, oh, you, you wanna say hi too? <laughs> so today, I need to go over a long-term PRP seat cover review. So I've got both the seats out of the JL. I've got my driver's seat already loose so I can get those off and we can look underneath. And I've got Brittany's passenger side here fully intact. And I wanna go over these with you because these have been on here for over 100,000 miles and you know the kind of stuff that we do. So these are the original seat covers. We've never changed them. I think I may have vacuumed them twice in 100,000 miles. I know it's gross, right? But let's go and take a little bit closer look at them because I am extremely, extremely happy with how these held up. But we're not just doing a PRP seat cover review because if uh, you look back there, we've got a little bit more surprise for you. Obviously, it's not a surprise anymore, but I want to go over those bad boys in a minute. But first, let's go over these seat covers. So the seat covers can be designed on PRP's website however you want. Different color stitching, if you want vinyl here, if you want suede, how, however your heart desires, you can go onto their website and design these covers however you want them. And like I said, 100,000 miles at least on these. And Brittany's been standing on hers to film out of the Sunrider. She loves popping that open and, and filming out. And the only thing that I've noticed this whole time is my fat butt, that's all it's done. And that's 100,000 miles. It's all all it's done is start to wear right at this really thin stitching, which is, I mean, that's me being fat and, and <laughs> sliding in and out. Because obviously the Jeep's lifted. I have to jump in this every time. So this is the only thing I've noticed. Obviously it's dirty. I never clean it. I've never taken it off. What I'm concerned, not concerned, what I'm curious about is what does it look like underneath? And I will tell you, I honestly have not pulled these up. I did get them loose. I haven't flipped them up to look underneath. So that means that these haven't been really cleaned very often. And obviously I've never taken them off. So underneath here hasn't been. So I've got the back panel off already. So we can do that wherever that, we'll just, that can just go down there. All right, so let's pull these babies off and boom. This is my stock. <laughs> so the the wear oh, pine needles in there. But. Yeah. So the wear mark right here on the cover. Look at that. It is. It could literally be brand new. Yeah. Even this bolster for your fat butt is. Yeah. Pretty decent. In pretty nice shape. Yeah. It's got a little crease right there. That's that's actually pretty decent. So a JL Rubicon seats out of the step child for sale. Maybe no. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can pull this back up. Oh, I'm gonna have to put the phone down to do that because this isn't as easy as. Yeah, Undo that, maybe? Anybody. Maybe. Let's see if Chris can do it real quick. So, the covers are, uh, they take a little bit of time to put on. If you look here, it actually has the hole inside for the side airbag. So, it is safe for, uh, for on road driving. Not, not wow. happy. <laughs> so, we're going to work on, we're going to work on getting this off real quick. You know? We'll be right back. <laughs> Look, everybody. Look, the Grace has blessed us with her <laughs> presence. <laughs> she normally does these, but she's been busy inside. So Chris and I are handling the reviews and the, the explanations. I hope we're doing an okay job. I, I wore her a little bit. It was really fine. I don't think you have a fat butt, though. I do. <laughs> Let's pull the top of that off. Oh, it's around the... It's a, you got, yeah, yeah just do that. There you go. And... Brand new roof guys. <laughs> so that is a testament, guys. That is, look, there's a headrest. That is a huge testament to these covers. The seats look great. I'm not gonna pull this one off. If mine looks that good, hers is gonna look perfectly fine because she doesn't tear hers up the way I do. This is, uh, this is pretty awesome. I mean, they look great. But you know what they don't look as good as? These sick ass seats right here. Let's go over the PRP suspension seats and why I'm so excited about them. Uh, let, yeah, let's just go over those. <laughs> now, PRP makes all kinds of seats. The, the, the seats in the bomber car are not the same as these. These are actually the Enduro Elite Series. They make all kinds of seats. You gotta get on their site, check it out. But the cool thing is, again, you can customize these any way you want. So you can do every different color that you see here is a different color that you can make it, including the stitching, the bolsters. It's insane. They even go as far as, look at this. We got a light bright nation embroidered there. So if you have a special request like that, you can put it in the notes. You can give them a call and say, hey, this is my company logo. This is my YouTube channel, whatever it is. And they'll go ahead and do that for you, which is super cool. It adds that custom look to it. Now with ours, we loaded it up. We have the front goggle pocket, which is really cool. You can put your goggles in here. You can put your earbuds in here. There's, I mean, I don't have to tell you what, what you can put in there. You can figure that out on your own. <laughs> 
We went with the lumbar support, so if you need an extra some lumbar here, you can go ahead and pump this guy up and yep, get you some, some lumbar and you push that little button to release. So that's kind of cool. And this can go in the pouch in the back. Like Chris just pulled out, we also went with the heated seat option. Of so, course. So we've got heated seats, we got lumbar, we got front goggle pocket. Now what's really, really trick, you have a pouch back here. What's really cool is this guy right here. This is actually a water bladder pouch and I didn't even know that it also comes with, with the actual water bladder. I just found that out a second ago. So look at this. So long days on the trail, no, no problem. problem. Just put your water in here, you can fill this up. Keeps right here in the back of the seat and you can drink on the trail all day, keep yourself hydrated. So these things are fully loaded. You don't have to get all of that. You can get them completely bare, right? They, yep. they, you can just so get them, just, a, regular just a, seat. a seat. Now you can also get them two inches extra wide, two inches taller or four inches taller, but you're gonna need to make sure they fit in your Jeep or whatever they're going in because this isn't just for Jeeps. This is literally a universal seat. So you wanna make sure before you order a two extra wide, a four, a four inch extra tall, that it's gonna actually fit there for you. So suspension seats. You hear us going on about suspension tuning for your vehicle and your shocks. We've had the Bill Steins tune multiple times on everything that we own. Suspension seats add that whole next level of comfort. The amount of cushion that you have here versus a stock seat is insane. You sit in this thing and you literally there's a lot of padding there. There's a lot of padding. There's a ton of padding there. And the suspension part. And then, right. So this is kind of like a trucker seat. So not only do you have all this padding here, also set up to run a five point harness, you have this suspension down here. So it actually, you know, if you hit something hard, it's not jarring through the seat into you. So that's really, really cool. They have all kinds of seats though. Get on there, check them out. You may be able to call and say, hey, I saw this on my right what kind of seat fits in this, and they can get you all squared away. But I had to talk about them. I've been waiting for these for a long time. I have called actually around to many shops and a lot of people to find out who's run seats in the JL, and I haven't found anybody yet. Everybody's like, no, I just use the PRP seat covers, which is fine, but I, I, I wanna run suspension seats. Like I'm at the point now where this thing just, it's ready. Yeah. It may have harnesses on the way and a harness bar my, my. <laughs> because Hemi, <laughs> you want that. Yeah, because Hemi and all that stuff, uh, you know, you saw me get in that accident the other day and that was kind of silly and stupid, but it definitely would be safer to have harnesses in the stepchild now. So some good seats, some safe seats with uh, harnesses, which also PRP makes. So we'll show you those when we get to them. Chris, we can't just install these, right? No, we can't. We could. But I'm not tearing up some fresh, brand new <laughs> Jeep seats to put slit right sliders and rails on this. So that leads us to our next product. Now, to be able to install those super badass suspension seats from PRP, you're gonna need this. Now, Moto Built makes some super sick stuff for the JL, the JK, LGs, everything. But this right here is the only kit on the market for the JL to be able to put race seats or suspension seats from PRP into your JL. Two door, four door, it doesn't matter. But it's not just a bracket system to bolt those in. They have some actually really trick things that they did. And tall, tall people, you guys that like hit your head on the bars, the people that aren't me, I'm, I'm short. Check this out. Chris, you want to explain to them what Motobuilt did here? So what Motobuilt did is they gave you the option. This is a factory location. If you put your PRP seat in this top location, it'll be at factory height but you can lower it down two more inches from factory, which for you tall people like me, unlike Kevin, uh, you're not that tall, shut up. <laughs> it's, uh, it's beneficial, because I know a lot of tall guys in their JLs and they, you know, they hit their heads on the seat. So this will allow you to go down two inches. Right, so you know how the JL has the crank up or crank down seat so you can raise it, lower it. So in the JL's lowest position setting, this will go two inches two lower. Two inches lower. Yeah. Sick. So that's super sick. So it comes with brackets. Now, if you notice, it is all raw steel. So they leave it like that so you can powder coat it to match your Jeep or paint it black or just do whatever you want to do. It comes with sliders as well. So you're getting the whole shebang. You're getting full, and this is, okay, this is for off-road use only, guys. It, it says it on the site. It says it here because you don't have side airbags in the new seats. But the way this is built, if you looked at this setup versus the way the stock seat brackets are set up, this is like, how much stronger than, I mean. Oh my gosh, way stronger. <laughs> like, but you are losing a side airbag. So I do have to let you know, this is for off-road use only because you no longer have a side airbag and you're resting with the airbag system. 
Yes, but we will show you how to um, how to get around not having a light on the dash uh, because that's kind of pesky. Even when you're off road, you don't want that red light, especially at night, glaring you in the eyes when you're driving off road at night. Not on road, but off road. Off road. At night. <laughs> so Chris is gonna get this kind of a sound. Actually, Chris is gonna paint this. I'm gonna shoot all this black first because. We're not gonna paint it red or anything, it's just gonna be black. So we're just gonna shoot this up first and then I'll assemble it and then we'll show you guys how to get them in the jail. Yeah, it seems pretty, it seems like there's a lot of brackets there, but it's really not bad. You have it's the not. side mounts, the braces and, and a couple bolts there, but let's get that all together. And then Beck shows up. <laughs> what are you, are these moto built wind chimes? Is that what's going on? Exactly what it is. So, so Beck's over here doing some moto built wind chimes. But no, seriously, guys, go to their site, check out all the stuff they have, because they have, they have a ton of stuff for the JL. But uh, I have not been able to find anybody. I've been asking everybody online who has PRP seats, because I was trying to find brackets for it. But also, there's a lot going on in the, in the OEM seats, and we were trying to figure out how to combat the seatbelt light, the airbag light, and then there's actually, there's a fluid-filled sack in the seat that I'll show you later when we pull our seats out. And we're working with Taser JL for that, to get rid of that, and I'll, I'll explain all that when we get to that part. But uh, yeah, look, we're gonna show you what Chris does when he paints. Or not. <laughs> So instead of uh, watching paint dry, because that's not very, uh, <laughs> that's not very fun. Um, we're gonna go ahead and actually get the uh, power wires ran for the seat. So PRP does include everything that you need. So here's the switch, here's all the wiring. It literally has everything you need. You really could run all this all the way to the battery. Instead of running both of them though, what Chris is doing is Chris is gonna run one larger power wire into the Jeep. So we're gonna come inside through the firewall and then run both seats off of that power wire. I mean, they're both gonna have their own switches and harnesses, but we're gonna just run one power wire inside the vehicle, cut all this back as far as we, you know, cut, cut all this back as far as we can. It's just a lot of extra wire that we, we won't need. And then we're gonna run the switches, I think, just right here on the center console. We'll just go here and here. We could go to our switch pros. I'm only using front and rear locker and air. So I have all these open, but then Brittany can't turn on her own seat heater by herself. So we're gonna go ahead and, and just mount it on the center console there. So we'll get that done and then we'll get the seat brackets put together and get these babies installed. All right, so what we decided to do was drill some holes through the console here and that's where our switches are gonna be. So that's where the, the seat heaters are gonna be at. So we each have our own. Don't worry, I'm gonna vacuum it all out. <laughs> nice, nice got here. And then so we drilled a hole down at the bottom on that driver's side, came through and then split off to each off to each side. So that's what we got going on here. So there's there's a two plugs for each seat. There's one for the bottom and one for your back. But it's it's all pretty simple. You just ran a power wire into here. He's splitting it off. Split it off, two fuses, and then both harnesses. Here's yeah. the one seat with the one sweet switch. Yep. Here's the other seat switch. And I'm gonna go clean all that mess up now. I, I can clean up my own mess, damn. No, I meant the wiring mess. I'm gonna oh, oh, the wiring mess. Wire. But yeah, it's pretty simple. You, like I said, you can go to the Switch Pros up there. Um, you can't use these anymore because it's multi- They're the CAN bus. System. Yeah, it's through the CAN bus. So, so what happens is with the switches up there is that you have a low, medium, high, and it tells the seat how hot it is, and so that will tell it what to do. Well, these don't do that, so. Fail-proof. What's funny is, uh, Lockers no longer yeah, this do anything. Doesn't work. Sway bar Sway display bar doesn't do work. anything. No. Seat heaters don't, don't do anything. My heated steering wheel still works. Not there. <laughs> well, you know, yeah. Just wait till you sit your butt in that seat, though. All right, so we got the seat frames all painted up, and there's the hardware for it. But I think the easiest way to install it is going to be installing it and building it in the Jeep. So we have this side in. I got to bolt it down just so I can get the the spread here and the rails to be parallel because that's going to be the hardest part. But on this side, we have the JL amp interferes with me putting this rail on and this rail. So what I think we're going to have to do is we're going to have to dismount this from this bracket and we're just going to have to put it on the floor for now until I can build another solid bracket for it. I'm pretty sure this is spaced up for heat maybe. I'm not sure, which is funny because there's the floor heater pointed right at it. But uh, we're going to get this off, get it on the floor so we can get these two seat brackets 
in the Jeep. Well, I guess you assemble them out. So now they're assembled, so now I'm gonna bolt this to the bottom of the PRP and then put it in the Jeep. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. So we got Kevin fitted. So we built the rail and then took it off. When you mount this here, this is for five foot tall people. This is for five and a half foot tall people. And this is for six foot tall people. If you go up further with the bracket, cause the bracket goes up that way. That was way, I, that's where we first had it. Cause I'm like, I'm short. My head was like out the roof. And then we just went down that little bit, but it dropped it significantly. And then if you're taller, you'll just come all the way down to that bottom hole. Yeah, so. so we got it mounted. We tightened everything up. I took the seat back out and we tightened everything up. You need about 14 and three eighths between this flange and this one and this one and this one. And then just make sure that they're parallel and all that stuff. Square. Square, square, square. that's the, yeah, square. square. Make sure it's square. So now we're just gonna mount the seat back. Oh, and we took the seat belt off the factory seat. Yes, we cut the wire because this is for off-road use only. I'll figure this out later. So this has your airbag, your seat belt light. Let's say your side airbag has the pressure sensor in the seat. So what we're doing is we're working with Taser for the pressure sensor. Um, the airbag light, you need a 2.2 ohm resistor. I'll figure that out. I know the passenger side has way more wires than the seat belt. I, I, I don't know why, but uh, this side only has two. I just gotta find those two and put a 2.2 ohm resistor in them and this guy. So this gets the 2.2 ohm resistor across these two. Just to turn off the airbag light, so that it knows it thinks there's an airbag in the PRP seat, which there's really not, but it doesn't need to know that because off-road use only. All right, let's drop that baby in there and see what it looks like. Don't forget to hook up the seat heaters. It is winter time. It is winter time. And you know, I was just thinking about it. They didn't have any airbags in the 50s or 60s or probably even 70s. And I was born in the 80s and we just sure as heck didn't have side airbags and we're all still here. We're all still alive. So I'm not too really concerned with the side airbags, especially since it's off-road use only. Anyway, let's see what Chris is doing. Ooh, baby. Oh my God, Chris. Yeah. Should we put buckets in the back instead of the bench? Should we do buckets with harnesses in the back seats? But like real buckets. Like a real bucket. PRP does have ballin' benches. I don't think they're called ballin' benches. They're but not, but they, they should use that name. Ball, the ballin' benches. So the reason these Enduros, if you look, the bolsters on the legs, they're not high, and that's to get easy egress and ingress, egress, whatever, in and out. And so like when you're on long drives, you can kind of spread your legs a little and relax. If you go with big bolsters down here, then your legs have to be squished together. And on long drives that could get, you know, just uncomfortable. So you see, look how easy that is to get in and out of there. You don't have a bolster to get up and over. So that's why we went with these. So I got uh, kind of late last night. It did. It got. Late, so, uh, <laughs> we had literally waiting, finished, for, so. waiting for paint to dry. So, dude, they're in. They look fantastic. Now, we forgot to mention last night, this bracket right here is not needed. If you're tall, you just bolt the seat right to the slider. So, if you're not a short stack like me, you know, that's short and muscly and sexy. Yeah, you don't, need, you don't need that at all. You can actually just bolt that right down and that's where you get your full two inches lower than the lowest position on the stock seat. So that's great. Now, what's also awesome, we have our switches here for the heaters and we were trying to figure out because we want it on ignition. We want it on ignition, but they pull, I think like 20 amps between the pair and I didn't want to wire in a relay and all that other stuff. <laughs> and, then, and then I remember, I was like, oh my God, we have a Switch Pros and I only have three of eight eight things used on it. So <laughs> that's, that's that what we did. Well, the only thing I've been using the Switch Pros for is my air locker, my front and rear locker, and all the rest have been nothing. So now, boom, we just hit that. That turns it on only when the vehicle's on. Only when the vehicle's on. Because I was worried if this was solid done and Brittany turned her seat heater on, she would leave it on and we'd kill the battery and then I'd have to use my jump box. Oh, I have a jump box. But you don't want to do that. You don't like, it's not good to kill batteries. And if you notice, I know you saw this, these light bars are nothing. And then these out and back are gonna be for something we're gonna talk to you about here uh, in the next video, because we get to actually finally use almost all my Switch Pros. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually pretty excited about that. But yeah, guys, um, that's it. Look at these. Look how sick. That's great. Have you even sat in it yet? Chris, jump in. I have not sat in it. Uh, you haven't sat in it. Oh, look, there, there's jelly. So when we moved in here, there were mice, and that was like eight months ago, and she's still, go get the mices, go get them. Go get the mice. Get the mice. Go get them. Go get them, Jelly. <laughs> you get them? You see them? Go get them. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Go, go, get, 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 get. Where is it? Go get it. Go get them. Go get them. Where are they at? Where are they? 
<laughs> She's so cute. Oh, look, Chris is sitting his, his uh, nice butt in the seat. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a suspension seat. We did mount the the stock seat belts in there. Um, yeah, the stock seat belts are in here. Yeah, yep, 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 yep right the there. Stock seat belts. So that's pretty cool. Eventually, we'll have harnesses and a harness bar. We'll have some PRP harnesses and harness bar. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Now, one thing you have to remember: everything right now is unplugged. So I have an airbag light. I have like probably a seat belt light. But I don't have a chime because the taser gets rid of your seatbelt chime when your seatbelt's undone because the wires are cut and we didn't splice anything together. So literally this is as raw as it comes and we tested it last night. I am pleased to announce, you know that auto park thing where if the door is open, you put it in gear, it slams it into park, it doesn't let you go anywhere? Well, that's all disabled now. And as soon as you start the vehicle, it comes up on the dash, says auto park disabled. It's kind of cool because I, I can open the door and look out now or I can have the doors off and put it in gear and generally it uses that seat uh, pressure sensor. None of that's there anymore. So I don't have that nanny anymore, which is freaking awesome. Did we show them the bag that was under the seat, that liquid filled bag? Should we show them that? Who cares? It's just a liquid filled bag. It's just a bag with liquid with a sensor on it that tells you how fat you are. It tells the, it tells the, the Jeep how, how, or how fat skinny you are. You are. Or how skinny you are. <laughs> yeah, so. The Jeep runs, it goes into gear, there's no more auto park. I've got to finish putting the trim panel back on and cleaning all, all my crack up, but there it is, guys. That's it. And um, that pouch right there, there's definitely a completely huge full-size PPE in that bag right there right now. So that's pretty sick. Goggles. goggles. Full-size PPE, like, like goggles. Yes. Yeah, that's what it is. That, that, that. Well, that's it, guys. PRP, Moto Built. Switch Pros, and you have yourself a nice new fancy set of seats that slide back and forth and heat themselves and have lumbar and all that. So this goes in anything. The brackets Pretty easy are, install too. It was, it was not that bad. Yeah, the brackets are JL specific for this, but the seats are universal, so. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I say this not to just say it. We actually want you guys to like share the video to people. That really helps us. <laughs> you, anyway, you can find all of your Light Night Nation merch. Light Bright, oh, that's a Bill Stein one. This, this is Light Bright on the back though. It does. Light Bright Nation merch at lightbrightstudios.com <laughs> and decals. Man, I'm botching this all up. Brittany's gonna be like, oh my God, what did you do? Anyway, we love you guys and we will see you next time. Bye, Bye guys. Okay. All right, right? Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, action. Let's pull the top of that off. All right, here is our mess here. This is everything in my center console that, uh, no, don't worry about that. Oh, nice underwear, Chris. Woo, yeah. baby. <laughs> so yeah, I just, I just realized I made a mistake there. Should I still be filming you right now? <laughs> Let's turn it off. Let's turn it off. I got a couple minutes. Okay. <laughs>